Having looked at how we set up the walls, let's now take a look at how we can introduce doors and windows. So we start with a width. We can either type directly into the dialog there or choose from the drop down list. So that defines the opening width for the opening itself rather than just the door. We can indicate, and we'll come on to that one in just a moment, we can choose whether we're setting the door out from the outside corner or the centre of the door for instance. We have a thickness on the door, so that will be the door itself. Um, so if you want a thickness shown, we can determine whether we have a plastic thermal type closer or just a, a traditional return the inner leaf. We can choose whether we want arcs or lines. So if you're mixing uh, uh, say lines uh, to illustrate doors that uh, are already existing and arcs to uh, illustrate doors that are new then uh, you can do that automatically. The door angle there, that's the angle at which the door is placed so whether it's fully open, fully closed or somewhere in between. The height and the head height, now those will feature in the three uh, three-dimensional modelling uh, if we should choose to go there. Uh, but at the moment we're just restricting ourselves to 2D here. We have the frame width. So rather than just having a, a blanket door type, what we can do is we can customise it. We can say what frame frame width we have. We can say what pens we're choosing to draw the frame and for the sill. We can choose where the frame actually sits within the depth of the wall for instance. So how far back from the outer face or default we'll just draw it in as default settings. Setback is ideal if you're using your uh, caddy to, to draw up uh, plans say from buildings in exposed locations so maybe Scotland or Ireland for instance. And uh, here we will actually set back by a specified distance the frame behind the external leaf but I can turn that off. We can have horned or flush sills and we can also reference our doors so we can automatically schedule which we won't deal with here but is something that can be done with Caddy very easily. Um, auto increment will make the next door D2 and so on. And then we have the choice of the elevational symbol because in Caddy we have a, an elevation wizard um, which will allow us to automatically create from 2D drawings uh, full elevations for our for our buildings, and we choose the door or window from doors and window symbols or uh, uh, that are already in caddy, or maybe things that you've created yourself. So we can just say, okay, we'll take that in there, and then okay. It gives us directions. It says outside wall. So we're talking about the outer face of our wall here. So pick where the origin is the direction that we want to go so that will create our door and it's just simply asking us here to indicate where the hinge would be so if the door arcs that way we just point there so there's the 44 mil thickness there's the thermal closer uh, if we go back into there we'll see it's drawn as we've directed now if we should choose indicate now we'll take a step back and here's a couple of construction lines I've placed in. We can simply indicate between there and there and notice it goes automatically into uh, intersection mode and then we can draw our door. We'll just press escape and do a regen and you notice that one's D2 and we have D1 there so the doors uh, are automatically scheduled. And what we'll notice is that if we do an object properties here, these are blocks. So they come in as blocks. And you see it's gone to the active layer there. And this means that if we want to select our block and maybe pick it up and ma move it, say 200 millimeters, which we can indicate there, we can move it to the left just by indicating the left arrow. I'll pick it once again, 200 to the right. So we can easily move our blocks around. So there's a little bit on doors. Same principles apply in creating windows. Now we have our width, indicate width and so on. We can choose the origin, so the outside centre here. Uh, we have an extra uh, s section in here for mullion parameters because if you're doing long runs of windows you may not know precisely how many mullions are in there uh, or, or want to calculate it. You can simply say every 600 millimetres give me a million. 
um, we can put in window references again and also the window elevation symbols and uh, the frame width and the offset OK to that zoom in so we can see where we, we are on our drawing choose the auto snap to tag the center of the wall to so snap to the midpoint there the direction and that will create our wall so just to recap if we look at our wall settings there we've chosen it by the center 1770 millimeters wide with a, a plastic closer it was W1 because that's automatically in incremented now and uh, we have our, our window.